Hello everyone, my name is Arturo, and once again, you can just call me Mr. Unemployable. That's right, after the first Mr. Unemployable series went so well, thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback. I decided in Football Manager 2016, why not go back to that well again, go with what works, and Mr. Unemployable 2 has begun. Whereas the first Mr. Unemployable, we ended up being uh, bouncing around all over Europe, Norway, Wales, Northern Ireland, Ukraine, England, Germany. This time we're going to Asia. We are going to Asia to see if we can conquer the continent, or, you know, at least survive. I'd happily accept both. And we start with Arima in the Indonesian Super League. Now, fun thing about Arima, they are... This is a position that Mr. Unemployable is not used to uh, to being in, because Arema, if you can believe it, are actually a good club. Like, a pretty good club. Regularly in the top two. They have some history. They've won. So, again, this is a position that uh, I'm not quite familiar with as Mr. Unemployable. Normally, I'm supposed to lose horribly and then struggle. Oh, no. Not today. Arema is expected to finish in fourth. The board wants me to win the league. So, it's gonna be a fun campaign, I think. <laughs> so, we're starting off our series against Persela. Currently sitting in 15th after one match played. We are one of four teams who have not played a single match yet. Though we have had some decent friendlies to start off with. Winning against our U21s and then a whole bunch of nothing as we struggled to really figure out what the best lineup would be. Ultimately, I went with my favorite, the 442 Narrow Diamond. The tried, tested, and true, although I am trying to uh, train the Indonesian squad to learn it, and they are having none of it. So some work to do there. Since I have been uh, trying to rebalance and rejuggle the squad, this is what I've got going into it. Happy more or less up and down the park with what I have. It's pretty good. All pretty good there. Uh, depth is an issue, but then again, when is it not? And the, the luxury of having uh, Emmanuel Wangai uh, as, my, uh, as my playmaker off the bench is pretty darn solid. So, feeling pretty good about that. Now, can they actually get done in league? Eh, we'll see. We will see. Currently, uh, well, well under budget. So I am trying to make a few moves here to bring in other players. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to bring in some uh, higher value targets, some uh, Indonesian national team potential players. So we'll see if I can improve the squad that way. We'll see how it goes. But first things first, we got to see how my Asian adventure will uh, begin. Will win or will it begin? The loss. Let's find out. A 4 2 2 2 for Priscilla. Five players out injured, that helps me. 4 4 2 Diamond, I'm happy with that. Let's get to the game. Squad numbers need to be given, that's fine, whatever. Uh, you, you are a left back. You my starting left back? Tavius, no, you're on the bench. Okay, good. Then you can have 22. And one guy, you are looking pretty solid, so you can have number, I'm going to say, give you number eight. All right, done. Mr. Unemployable has gone from the highest of, from the lowest of lows to the highest of highs, and back down again. Where will I land this time? Uh, it'll be great. All right. There are some things considered in the Indonesian Super League, such as squad registration limits, uh, forward or uh, forward foreign player caps. So I can't just load up on uh, Brazilian players, which I am allowed to scout in Brazil, which is great, but I can't load up. I have to keep domestic. I have the confident offer tactical advice. Well, thank you. That's just lovely. It's all right. I'll do it myself. No big deal. I'm expected to win, then good. They aren't buying it, though. Of course they're not buying it. I expect winning, please. Winning is what I want. All right, so uh, what do I instruct these guys to do? So we're telling them to, uh, generally speaking, 
Split the middle and work into the box. We're going to try some possession-based soccer, which I haven't done in a while. I've been playing a lot of direct as of late. So let's see if we can get back to the good old-fashioned possession game, and here we go! I'm also checking to see, I know in past uh, FM15 matches, the full screen tended to lag and really slow things down. We're going to see if we can go back to the good old full screen and see if that goes nice and smooth for us. Oh, it's an early penalty! Swanto was shoved, they say. Arif! Oh, it's saved! They say it hits the uh, the bar as well. Either way, that, you gotta think, was a, a real waste of a penalty there. Can we get it back? Sunarto. Abolde. Revy. This is good stuff. Bustomi. Keep you. Revy. Bustomi. A bold is header is in. Thank you very much. So what if we didn't get the penalty? I'll just head it in the old-fashioned way. An instant impact for the youngster. That's what I want to see. 15 minutes in. Great looking cross. Kept on side by the fullback there, and the header is lovely. Bar down in. Thank you very much. Give me some stats. Give me some uh, some Arema team ratings. How are we looking here? Unsurprising, doing quite well. Okay, what have we got here? That's better. All right. RDF. Sunarto off the bar. More woodwork from Arema. I gotta say, I know it's high pressure to try and win the league with the club when you're expected to. It's kind of nice coaching a good team as Mr. Unemployable. I mean, don't get me wrong, I built some good teams. Unfortunately, I've been knocked back down a peg. That was a pretty loopy goal to let in there. Kearney Amiga. The heck was that? See, this feels more like Mr. Unemployable. Goofy goals. Undeserved score lines. Yeah, like, what the... Oh, my goodness. Horrible. And we're all square 22 minutes in. Yao Bolde is, I believe, one of our better prospects on the team. Yeah, the 23-year-old Liberian, so he's taking up a foreign spot. But he is making it work there. The four-star striker, only 23 years old, too. He is going to be a fixture on this squad for as long as possible, if I have any say in it. Good defense there, and Boldy plays in Sonarto. Sunarto, up the right. There's the cross. A bold is header is in. Make it two for the young Liberian. Lovely assist. Two great run from Sunarto. And that's more like it. Lead restored. Look at this great run. Packed house too. And bip. There you go. Thank you very much. Lovely header back across the face of goal there. No chance for the keeper. Do we see a card here? We will. Daniel Ta for Persella shown the yellow card. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Let's keep that good time going, shall we? Pangabean with a throw here for Priscilla. Come on, no more goofy goals. And as soon as I say that, our fullback whiffs on the clearance. So there you go. Salim saved by Mega. 
That's a little bit better. Pew starts the counter, finds Aryev, but that will end the chance. Wayudi is not exactly instilling confidence in me here. Then again, he is struggling to regain fitness. He was injured during preseason. Alright, so that's their substitutions out of the way. So let's see if we can't get one for us here. Who do we have? It's like Octavius. Sorry, Octavianus. Octavianus Magnani. Yeah, buddy, get on the pitch. That's a, that's a name and a half, there isn't uh and Arif is not doing well, so we'll bring on Kennedy Sengba here. He's considered also a poacher. And the double poacher does not exactly strike me as the way to go. So we'll use an advanced forward. Alright, and we'll save that last sub. Bring on, bring off Bastomi. Oh, he's having a great game. No, we're bringing him off. I'll bring off Swanto, I guess. Yeah, bring off. Actually, no. You know what? I have the luxury of being able to bring on a pretty awesome playmaker. So let's bring on. Yeah, there we go. When you have that luxury, you might as well use it. Oh, of course, of course. No, no. Go ahead. Just let the other guy get injured. It's cool. It's fine. I, I really don't care. No, no, just go, go right ahead. That's fine. Play on the counter. Hey. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be Mr. Unemployable without some injury trouble. As it stands, though, we don't seem to be phased by it at all. Sengba. Back to Kipu. Sunarto. Kipu. Revy. One well, Revy looking for Sengba, couldn't find him. And this is Priscilla the other way. Good ahead of the Bayrongir. He had to get that one right. Sonardo can't get past Prabadi. Valiant effort. And that's that 2 1 it ends. A fantastic start. Oh, yes, a fantastic start for Mr. Unemployable's career in Indonesia. That's right, the Grand Asian Adventure begins with a win in Indonesia. Missed a penalty to open the game. Doesn't matter. Two goals from Yawabaldi bring us that victory, and we move up to sixth place with only one match played. So we've got a game in hand. We could equal Gresik United with another win. And that next match is coming up right away next time on Mr. Unemployable 2. We will check in with Arima Kronos FC at the third mark of the season, one third of the way through the season. We will see if we can continue to put up some impressive wins like that. And hopefully no more Mr. Unemployable specials of horrific collapses. <clears throat> but that'll be next time on Mr. Unemployable 2. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos, and don't forget to join us in Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash show, where all of these episodes are recorded live, where I am being reminded, never three sub. Never, never three sub. Thank you, Twitch chat. Appreciate it as always. Once again, my name is Arturo. Just call me Mr. Unemployable. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.